Hey everyone, Harris Rubenstein here for Chat Sports. With the 2018 offseason coming up fast, everyone's eyes are on the Los Angeles Lakers and what they're going to do with all that cap space. We're going to take you through their top rumors from this past week and also give you updates on what's going on with them and Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James, and Paul George. So without further ado, let's get right into those rumors. Before we get into our rumors, let's first break down our rumor scale so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about when you see our crying Jordan heads. Zero crying Jordans is the Matumbo finger wag. Get that stuff out of here. It is fake news. One crying Jordan head. It's a small shred of truth. About a 25% chance that this could happen. Two crying Jordans. People are talking. Give it a 50-50 percent chance that this one will go down three crying Jordans it's pretty likely about a 75 percent chance of truth and then four crying Jordans bang this is a hundred percent fact this is happening let's get into our first rumor is Kawhi Leonard coming to the Lakers in 2019 not 2018 as so many people have thought of for this offseason thinking that the Lakers might make a trade for Kawhi we're gonna give this one two crying Jordan heads people are talking so this is coming from Bleacher Report saying that the Lakers quote unquote know that they can sign Kawhi in 2019 rumors that the Lakers are shifting their plans to the 2019 free agency class in order to bring in Kawhi Leonard who mind you is from Los Angeles California and has been rumored to want to come home for some years now. Now that doesn't mean that they aren't going to sign one of LeBron James or, or Paul George. They still could very well pick up one of those guys. But as of right now, the Lakers could be shifting their attention to 2019 in order to pick up Kawhi Leonard. But we were talking about Paul George and LeBron James. So let's break down the two of them. Is LeBron James going to come to the Lakers? We have a little bit of an update for you guys on this field. We're going to give this one three crying Jordan heads. This one coming from the Orange County Register. Not the biggest newspaper in the world, but still a reputable one, saying that LeBron James holds the Lakers as a heavy favorite to be his next team. The team has the cap space to sign two max level free agents so they could bring in LeBron along with Paul George. They could bring in LeBron along with DeMarcus Cousins. They could use that max level slot to instead sign some other good bench guys or a couple other starters. Now we do also know that Paul George may also follow LeBron James to the Lakers. So now let's get into Paul George's rumors because there's been an update on his end as well. So is Paul George coming to the Lakers? That's the question that everybody wants to know the answer of. We're going to give this one two crying Jordan heads. People are talking. So this is coming from Chris Haynes of ESPN saying that, quote, somebody close with Paul said that he could re-sign with OKC. Paul uh, Haynes also said that Paul has wanted to get home forever now, and he's obviously from the Los Angeles area. He famously posted an Instagram photo of him with the Indiana Pacers after they traded him and the location tag was Los Angeles, California where he lives. There was also an Instagram story photo of him building a baby crib in his house in Los Angeles. George was traded to the Thunder this past offseason and many of his quotes since the season has ended has alluded to him wanting to come to terms with the Oklahoma City Thunder with some sort of solution. So this is definitely something to keep an eye of as we get closer and closer to the offseason. Let's get into our next rumor. Kobe doesn't want to trade the young core of this team. A pretty interesting one. Anytime that Kobe Bryant comes out and says anything, it's instantly a rumor. We're giving this one four heads. Kobe Bryant wants to keep the young core together. He said that dynasties would last longer with the young core and he also pointed out the growth of Brandon Ingram as Julius Randle as reasons to let the young kids grow and not just bring in a slew of free agents. However, Kobe did say that the Lakers are in good position no matter which way they turn to and also said that if LeBron does come to the Lakers that he can't wait to see LeBron in the purple and gold. Let's get into rumor number five. Are the Lakers going to win 40 to 
of 45 games next season. So this is really interesting. This is coming from a rival NBA GM. So we're going to give this one two crying Jordan heads. People are talking. Obviously, we can't be 100% sure if they are or 100% sure if they aren't. So we're going to give this one two heads. And he kind of revolved it around how the Lakers had to deal with a lot of injuries last season. And also that the Lakers could do nothing this offseason and reach 45 wins next season. He said that injuries to Lonzo Ball stunted the amount of total wins that they ended up having. And if you look at the free agents for the Lakers, the only big-time in-house guy they have is Julius Randle. And if they choose not to sign any big-time free agents and only go with the 2019 class, as we reported earlier, they could still bring back Julius Randle and pick up another couple of nice bench pieces for this upcoming season. But hey, we'll see what the Lakers end up doing this offseason. They will definitely be one of the biggest topics of conversation with all the cap space that they have. Let's get into our next rumor. Is Brandon Ingram bulking up for next season? This one's fun. Yes, he is. We are giving this one four crying Jordans. This is 100% fact. He is bulking up. And even you can see in this picture that he already looks better. He's starting to add some muscle on that frame. And he had a really good season. He increased his scoring output from 9.4 points per game to 16.1 points per game in 2017. He looked like a much more efficient overall offensive threat, though he did deal with some injury issues this season. He definitely looked like he took another jump. He is working also with Victor Oladipo's trainer, and we saw Victor Oladipo take a massive jump this year, and he will probably end up being the most improved player from the NBA this season. And Brandon Ingram is also heading back to Duke for his off-season workouts. So good luck to you, Brandon Ingram. We can't wait to see what you end up looking like when you come back next season. All right, let's get into rumor number seven. Are the Lakers working out some late first guys? Yes, they are. We're going to give this one four crying Jordans. This is a fact. So we know that the Lakers had a lot of success last year with picking up guys in the late first, early second. Obviously, they picked up someone like a Kyle Kuzma and a Josh Hart last year. This play, this year, they're looking at players like Shake Milton out of LSU and DJ Hodge out of Texas A&M. The Lakers own picks number 25 and number 47 overall, so they are looking to make a couple late round picks in order to get a couple more guys on the end of the bench. Whether or not they find another Kyle Kuzma remains to be seen, but they are definitely looking to make an impact at the end of the first round. All right, let's get to our next rumor. Is Kyle Kuzma already working out? Yes, he is. We're giving this one four crying Jordans. Look at the young guys for the Lakers already starting that offseason grind. Apparently, Kuzma has texted his trainer about starting workouts. His trainer then put it on Twitter. He's heading into his sophomore season. He had a great year in 2017. He was tied for the team lead in scoring, averaging 16.1 points per game. He was tied with Brandon Ingram for that team lead. So now you got Kyle Kuzma and Brandon Ingram working already for next season. Look at the young guys. Even Kobe Bryant mentioned how it's great to see all the young guys really going out of their way to get in the gym and try to improve. So Kyle Kuzma is doing just that as he gets ready for his sophomore season to try to avoid the dreaded sophomore slump. Our last rumor is Ben Simmons ignoring Kobe Bryant's advice on his jump shot. Another one that's four heads. He is absolutely ignoring Kobe Bryant's advice. Kobe said that uh, excuse me, Ben Simmons should rebuild his entire shot from scratch. Brandon, uh, excuse me, Ben Simmons came out and just plain on said, no, I'm not going to change my whole shot, just going to change a couple minor things. Ben Simmons doesn't exactly need a huge jump shot. He only took 30.9% of his shots from 16 plus feet out. Most of his shots came from around the hoop and he was 0 for 11 as well from three point range. So he's not exactly a three point shooter. But hey, if you're gonna listen to anyone about your jump shot, you might as well listen to Kobe Bryant. So hey, Ben Simmons ignoring Kobe, all the power to you, man. But I can't wait to see if you actually end up improving. That's going to do it for our Lakers Rumors Roundup of the day. That's going to do for me today. Remember to subscribe to Chat Sports on YouTube so you can get an alert whenever we have a new video for you. You can follow me on Twitter at SportsTheme for all your NBA news and updates. But for now, we'll see you.